Are you a Mac user looking for a quick way to remove the backgrounds in an image so that you can make an overlay? For example, this border, I cut out a shape and we made the background transparent. Now, typically this is something that I would use Keynote for since it can export slides with transparent backgrounds. However, sometimes there are reasons why it won't work. So today we're going to talk about that. What is Preview's instant alpha tool? How can this help you when other options aren't really working? I'm gonna show why this might be the case and why Keynote might not be an option and then how you use Preview's instant alpha tool. And it will be so quick, you might not believe it at first. Now, if you are new and we've never met, my name is Kat and I help people to create more professional and engaging online presentations. And one of the things you might wanna do is create your own custom graphics. I know I do. And typically I will gravitate towards Keynote. It's on every single Mac and it's free. And it's actually pretty easy to create custom graphics, but sometimes you might bump up against some problems. And recently that happened to me and I ended up using Preview's Instant Alpha tool instead. So let's take a look at what actually happened. I was hosting a panel with Ecamm as a guest host on their channel. And I wanted to make some custom backgrounds for this panel. So you can see that I had an individual speaker graphic. I had one for all four panelists together. And then I also had one where there was some room for text to be added on the side. Now, typically when I am making a custom graphic or an overlay in Keynote, I will take the shape that I want to cut out and I'll take the shape behind it. And over here, I will use the subtract. So on this far right side, you'll see the subtract button. Typically, when you use that, you'll cut out a hole. But as you can see here, the Ecamm graphic, the logo that I wanted in the background, it's still there. So this would be covering part of a person's face. And I obviously don't want that. So if we go back and reset it, I then went and I picked the black front that I wanted to cut out and I selected the logo. But as you look on the side, you'll see you can't subtract this. It's because you cannot cut out a shape from an image. And this logo is actually an image. So what I did instead, I said, that's okay. I'm going to use the instant alpha tool. So I exported all three of these overlays. So if you see here in this folder, we have three overlays and none of them have transparent backgrounds right now. However, if we open up each one, so let's open up the first one in preview. We're gonna bring this over to the screen here. It's a little bit big. Let's adjust it. So now we have our image. And anytime you open an image on a Mac, it wants to open automatically in preview. And what you might not have done is use the instant alpha tool. So if we go to the top right, you'll see this little pen here. It's the markup toolbar. If we click on it, we will see the different editing tools available. And this second one over here, this is the instant alpha tool, meaning it's going to create a transparency in your picture and you get to pick where. So you click on the instant alpha and then you're gonna drag your cursor gently over the area that you want to select. So I want to make sure my cursor moves in this black area. So right now I have selected it and you'll see that there is a border now going around this area. Now you have to be careful. For example, if I was grabbing too much, all of a sudden I can maybe grab more. So now too much is selected. So you wanna make sure that you are careful and gentle and only the thing that you want to cut out is actually selected. So we have this selected and now we just simply press delete. That is it. We have now created a hole in the middle of this picture. And I usually for extra caution, click save so that I have that image saved. Now let's take a look at the panel because this has four. So if we open this up, bring it over onto our screen, you will see that we've got this one with all four. We're doing the exact same thing, except we're doing it one at a time. So I'm going to select the instant alpha tool. I'm going to grab one, no, just one at a time. Grab one, delete. You wanna grab another, delete. Grab another, delete. And finally, delete. Now I have created four different holes or transparent backgrounds. 
and just click save. So do this with each and every one. Now, if we come back to my main screen, I'm gonna show you the example. So if we actually take that file and now I drag, I'm gonna drag this overlay right now onto my Ecamm software, you will see that I now have a transparent hole. And so that is how simple the Instant Alpha tool is. Just export it, select this part that you want to disappear, and then of course you can always adjust your camera, move it around where you want it. If you wanted to maybe zoom out a little bit because of the room, you can do that. But essentially you have just taken that image, exported it, opened it up in preview, and you have created your transparent background in a matter of seconds. So get creative, try previews instant alpha and see what you can do.